Hello, hello. So let's say that you want to install Dropbox. What you do is go to your web browser, Firefox or Chrome or whatever you use. And then you go to the Dropbox website. And you go up here where it says download the app. And it recognizes what the operating system you have, so Linux. So what you select here is Ubuntu. And you need to know if you have a 64 or 32-bit system. I know that I have a 64-bit version of Ubuntu. So I click that one. And it will ask me to save the file. Yes. And it should show up in your downloads. So if you open files and go to downloads, and there it is. So you install it by right click on it and open with software install. And now you can actually close these files and Dropbox and just click install and you need to type your password and it's the same password as you log in with Now we start to install Dropbox here. And you see the process bar there. All right, so this is the first part. So now you can close this. So let's see, you should be getting a dialog box that says that you need to um, restart Nautilus and that's the files. This is Nautilus. So let's see if it works. It might take a little while here. And one thing I like with Dropbox that it has actually a thing called LAN sync. So if you have uh, the same sort of account, Dropbox account on uh, the different computers in your home, it will actually sync between each other directly instead of going to the cloud and download. So it sync between the computers directly, which is a lot faster than. Uh, download from the cloud and here it comes it takes a little while it says drop dropbox start required let's see start oh, okay I don't need to reset the uh, nautilus so let's start dropbox and this next and restart Nautilus and close and yeah Dropbox installation and now it will download Dropbox It will at least download the uh, latest version. It's kind of funny sometimes with, for example, Steam for Windows. Uh, when you download it from the website and then install it, and it seems to be kind of an old version. 
because it's updating itself. It's kind of weird that they don't have the latest version on, on the website. <laughs> you should think that it will actually download the latest version, but no. Unpacking. So let's see here. Okay, here's Dropbox and you need to log in and I'm not going to uh, show you my email actually <laughs> but what you do basically is to type your email your password for your Dropbox account and then you sign in and uh, if you click the advanced button down here you can actually select where to install Dropbox. The default uh, place, uh, default installation folder is on the uh, this home uh, uh, sort of folder. So you will have a Dropbox folder here, which is kind of neat. And it will automatically download everything. So yeah, that's how you install Dropbox. So see you later.